So you publish a book and wondering, do I need an ISPN number? Well, stay tuned. I'll tell you what I do. Hi, I'm Monique and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to explain about ISPNs. We all know what they are. But exactly what I do. You really don't need to have an ISPN per se. If you're publishing a paperback, Amazon will give you one for free. And so will Ingram Spark. Lulu, I'm not sure. I only deal with Amazon, so I only know what Amazon does. And I've had a few people tell me that Ingram Spark also has free ISPMs. Typically, in the United States, one ISPN is $125. Yes, that's for one. Ten, if I remember correctly, is $275. I might be wrong, but I know it's like two something. The, the price for ten is cheaper than one. But me, on the other hand, I buy a hundred. A hundred ISPNs is five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yes, a lot, because I'm here for the long run. And even though I only have to use my ISPN just for my paperback, I also use them for my eBooks. My books are at so many different retailers, and I use different aggregates. I want each aggregate to have the same number and not use their numbers for my ebooks. I want it to be under mine and mine alone. Even though it's sent out by Google and Barnes and Noble, still you will see my publication's name on it because that's who owns it. So let me give you a quick peek at my dashboard so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see here, here is my page, my, my first page of 100 ISPN. These are all the ones that I have already used for all of my books. And like I said before, I use them for paperback and ebooks. Now that, that, don't, 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 don't get excited. You do not have to use them for your ebooks. I say that again. You do not have to use an ISPN for your ebooks. You don't. There are some retailers that need ISPNs, but they usually get that from whatever aggregate you're using. This is why I go ahead and put the ISPN on regardless. My ebooks, my paperback. And yes, that means two. One ebook, one paperback. So a hundred ISPNs will last me for 50 books. Simple. Let me show you the price. Now, if you buy one ISPN, it is $125. If you buy 10 ISPNs, $295, making them $29.50 a piece. If you buy 100 ISPNs, that's $575 or $5.75 per ISPN. Now next year, I plan on buying 1,000 ISPNs. Why? I see my publication growing and I need more ISPNs. So it's easier for me to go ahead and buy a thousand for fifteen hundred dollars and they cost me a dollar fifty a piece this is the best buy and worst case scenario I have enough ISPNs to last me years I can tell you when I bought that first hundred I saved up that five seventy five 
It took me a couple of months. I knew this is what I wanted to do. So I just saved it up. To me, it made no sense to buy one or even to buy ten. It's like, go ahead and save up and get a hundred. So now I'm at the point, you know what? I'm not going to buy a hundred again. Because that'll be three times I bought a hundred where I could have bought a thousand. So next time I'm going for the thousand. Now, whether or not to get an ISPN, it's up to you. Do you just want to self-publish? You, you don't care whose name, you know, is actually attached to that barcode? If you don't care, you don't need an ISPN. You can get it from whoever makes your paperback. And if an ebook needs one, pss, they, they can do that too. But me, myself, personally... I want my name on it. I actually want to see my publication's name. Now, I've heard every now and then that they have a sale on this. That I don't know. Because every time I buy it, I buy it for $5.75. So, this is for U.S. I don't know about any other con country. But this is where we get our ISPNs. Canada, they get theirs free. But I believe they also have to send a sample product that I'm not positive of. That's what I've heard. I don't know because I don't live in Canada. But uh, for the United States, this is where we get ours. Right here, it's uh, my identifiers dot com and let me show you what one looks like I'll show you one of my books okay that's the back of my book and you can see it has the barcode and there's my publication name this is what this book belongs to and is this that simple Remember, ISPN is a choice. You don't have to do it. If you have the budget to get your own, I'd say try it. I mean, if you want to just get 10, you know, have your name attached to it. Or it's, it's totally up to you. If, if, it, if you're just starting out and you don't have the change, hey, Free is good. Free is my favorite word. So, it's all up to you. And that's about all I can say about ISPN. If there's something you think I missed or I could have, you know, added on to, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Till next time.